Hello everyone, this is Rafa. I, am, I want to announce here the new library Aruco Nano. Aruco Nano is a library that compresses all the knowledge that we have gathered over the last 10 years, creating market detections, the Aruco library, and everything that you can read in our papers into a single file where we put, uh, you know, like all this, all this, all this knowledge so that uh, you can detect markers and it's uh, very easy to use and it's very easy to integrate into your project. So if you need to detect markers in your project, this is going to make it uh, very easy for you to do it. Why? Well, the first thing is that Aruco Nano is a single file that in less than 200 lines of code puts everything you need to know to do. To, to any, anything you need to have in order to detect markers and detect the uh, 3D position of those markers with respect to your camera. So you only have to take those, this file and drop it into your project and boom, you have it. You, you have a Roku markers. You don't, you don't need anymore to compile against a, a different library, include a library or anything like that. The only thing that you need to know is to take the, this file, the Ruko Nano, you put it in your project and you include OpenCV. That's it. So simple. Is it easy to use the Ruko Nano? Yes, it is. Let me show you a simple example of, of how to use it. Well, basically, first you need to include the Ruko Nano file and then let's see how it works. Well, let's see here. We load an image and that's it. We just call a Ruko Marker Detector Detect and we send the image we want to detect uh, markers uh, in. So it will return the markers detected. Then we can iterate over the markers and draw them in the image. And in this case, I just write this image to a file. Very simple. That's all you need. Now, if you need to detect also the 3D position of the marker, which is basically the rotation and translation, is very simple as well. First, you need to know the camera matrix and distortion coefficients of that matrix that you should obtain by calibration. And there is a lot of information about calibration on the internet, how to calibrate with OpenCV or with Ruko itself, you know, it's very, uh, it's very well documented. And then once you have the information, you read this from the configuration file and also uh, your marker size. Uh, in this case, my marker size is five centimeters. So I'm going to express this in meter, although you can use the Imperial system. No problem. I iterate over the markers and I call for each marker to estimate its pose. But, uh, I have to provide the camera matrix, the distortion coefficients and the marker size. Uh, the function will return the rotation and translation value, which is, uh, this is a pair. So the first element of the pair is going to be rotation. And the second, let me show you here. First is going to be rotation and the second is going to be translation. And this is the Naruko Nano code. Here at the beginning, uh, you have uh, this example. Here I show you which um, files you should uh, uh, reference in your publications. However, another good thing, this Naruko code is free to use both in industrial and in um, uh, uh, academic uh, works, okay? It's free to use. You don't need to pay a license. So you can use it in your commercial products, no problem. Uh, what you will see here is that the code is obfuscated, okay? It's very difficult to do any change or modify or understanding what it's uh, doing. Why do I do that? Well, basically, because I don't want other people to take credit for the work that we have developed over these 10 years. And it's not the first time that some other people take our ideas or code and put uh, them into their own marker detector. So the other marker detectors that you see around, many of them have included our ideas in their projects and then they are using it. We don't want this to happen. So that's why we don't this is our secret sauce is you know embedded here and we don't want other people to steal it from us so now how this perform is it going to be fast rafa because this is only 200 lines of code i mean if you count them 
This is all in less than 200 lines of code. Is this going to be detecting well? Yes, it detects better than the original Aruco. Is it going to be fast? Yes, it is faster than the original Aruco. Do you want to prove it? Do you need a proof? Okay, let me prove it to you. In this video, I'm going to process both the original Aruco and on the left side, the Aruco Nano. Can you tell the difference? Yes, the difference is the Aruco Nano is better. It detects better, less flashing detection, and also, what about the speed? Well, let me show you the speed. Aruco, 17 milliseconds per frame. Aruco Nano, only 11 milliseconds per frame. So we are faster, better, and simpler. So I recommend all of you that you use Aruco Nano because it's a better approach. It detects better because we implement a multi-detection approach for each candidate marker. And this is basically this parameter here. For each possible marker candidate, we are gonna try several times to detect uh, their, its ID using a different approach uh, uh, that we, we have uh, come out uh, with, uh, a new idea. And that make it uh, better for the detection. And also is very, very fast, as you can see. And I basically recommend to use uh, this uh, in your project. If you need something that is not here, it will be in the original Aruku project and then go there and use it. But if I think this is what 99% of developers of Aruko needs for the project. So please enjoy and leave, give me your comments in the video. Thank you very much.